Some New Orleans bus riders say the Regional Transit Authority service is unreliable, inconsistent, and puts their livelihoods at stake. Tonight, local leaders say they want answers about what's going on, while the head of the RTA tells us she's working on a solution. Here's our Fox 8 Defenders special report, Stranded. On a hot September day, Richard Garner waits for the bus in Gentilly. If you ain't got no water, you ain't gonna make it. He's paralyzed, so getting around town isn't yeah, easy. Uh, I had broke my neck like 25, 26 years ago playing off high school football. On this day, Garner's bus is late. We waited with him as the minutes ticked by. When it finally shows up, he can't get on. She said the thing for his wheelchair. It's broken? Yeah, but he can't get on the bus. That don't make sense. Now we got to wait on another bus. That's going to be about three hours. The bus driver yelled to him that a piece of equipment needed to secure Garner's wheelchair on the bus is broken. So we must wait even longer for another bus. The waiting game is nothing new for some riders. I'm never on time. I'm late for work because I missed the bus because the bus never comes. So I'll be waiting out earlier today. I was out here waiting for an hour and a half and the bus never showed up. I'm waiting for the Galvis bus. I normally I'll wait for it and all of a sudden doesn't show up. I end up walking and beating the bus to the bus stop. To walking sometimes one. beats the bus. Yes. Yes, it does. I find myself coming two, three hours earlier ahead of time when it's scheduled to be here just because it's kind of unknown whether or not it will actually arrive on time. Joe Lewis, a single dad, says the inconsistencies in the bus schedule affect his livelihood. He says he tries to take the 7 a.m. bus from Morrison Road every morning after getting his son off to school. This morning, fam, since the bus didn't pull up until 7.53, and went straight past us because it was too full. He now documents the experience to show his bosses why he's late. I've been taking screenshots of the bus schedules. I've been taking videos of me at the bus stop and the bus when it does pull up and so they can see if I get on it or not and, and it's time stamped and everything so it's they know it's pretty much out of my control. Does this make you mad? Yes it does because I pay for the month pass right and I've been told since I've activated the pass, I can't get any of the money back. Lewis called the Fox 8 defenders for help. Why did you reach out to us? Because I got tired of the same answer. If you call the RTA ride line, it's the same thing every time the bus broke down. The bus broke down. The bus broke down. It's a broken record. New Orleans City Councilman Oliver Thomas says he's also fielding calls from upset constituents in his district. A large population of people who get to work because of public transit. So the inconsistencies in the time and not being able to organize it around their work schedule is costing a lot of people. State Rep. Nat Cormier, who sits on the House Transportation, Highways and Public Works Committee, says he's concerned. You pay taxes for these kind of things and, and this is something that needs to be addressed ASAP. We're working hard every day to fix it, yes. Lona Edwards Hankins is the new CEO of the RTA. She took over in March. The challenge really is that we don't have um, a reliable fleet. 50% of our buses are at the end of their useful life. So that's on, on any given day between 40 and 60 vehicles. Edwards Hankins says the bulk of the RTA's 140 buses were purchased after Hurricane Katrina and have a shelf life of roughly 12 years. In 2017, she says some new buses were bought, but some of the buses on the streets right now are older than 12. They require more work, and with a shortage of mechanics at the RTA and the original manufacturer not existing anymore, Edwards Hankin says it's created the perfect storm. That is it in a nutshell, why we can't make service reliably every day is the condition of our fleet. Buses aren't always late. In fact, a performance graph we received from the RTA shows in August, buses that service Lakeview were on time 92% of the time. The worst performance time in Algiers, with those buses on time only 64% of the time. But Edwards Hankins acknowledges even one bus being late is one too many. One of the reasons I, I stepped into the role of a CEO is I know how critical this um, reliable transportation is for a family. Well, being on time, for some people, it's a lifeline. She tells us 21 new buses were ordered a couple months ago, and RTA just got approval for eight more. They take roughly a year to come, so it'll be some time before the new wheels hit the streets. 
In the meantime, Edwards Hankins says she may reduce RTA service in January to increase reliability. So when I say reducing service, some of our lines are promising to be delivered um, a bus rolling at a frequency of every 20 minutes. So we may have to cut that back to 25 minutes or 30 minutes, but let's make sure that we are reliable with the delivery of our service. Both local leaders and bus riders we've spoken to say they just want something to change. I find myself having to text my boss, I'm going to be late, um, the bus, the bus, and there's only so many times you can use that as an excuse. If you're riding them piggyback, if you're riding them on an old bus, or a, a new bus, the least we can do is make sure we're on time. So that riders aren't stranded because of a service they're paying for. State Rep Matt Cormier says he's willing to ask for more state funding for the RTA, but Lona Edwards Hankins tells us funding isn't the issue. It's simply timing and bus maintenance. She urges anyone looking for a job as a diesel mechanic to contact the RTA. If you have a consumer issue you'd like us to look into, call the Fox 8 Defenders, staffed with volunteers from the National Council of Jewish Women, or fill out our online complaint form.